the uh, the New Yorkers in those days they would not even talk to each other. They don't know each other. They don't talk. They don't discuss. But after the that event, they started to talk. They want to help. They want to do something. They don't want to have this happening again. Okay, so um, disasters are, are ways of helping all of us to realize that we must learn to love one another, we must learn to serve one another. Um, uh, so in a way, in order to come to that peace, the final peace, um, we may have to go through a lot of uh, difficulties. This is a baptism of fire, yes. a part of the beginning of the peace that you're talking about? Yes, but it doesn't have to be. Um, uh, if we have love now, then there will be peace, peace tomorrow. And we only need a critical mass of people that have enough love. In other words, some 50%. Okay, Once you have a little bit more love than hatred, the whole world will be changed overnight. We don't have to get rid of all the hatred. Okay, But we need just more love energy than, than energy of hate. Um, then the world will change. So what we need to do is come up to that critical mass of people. Um, and um, in the meantime, if we don't love one another, then through our own action, we are creating a lot of problem for ourselves. Uh, for example, we, um, uh, we create a lot of problem in the environment we burn up fossil fuels, we are creating creating global warming, and now we, we know that there's a lot of um, climatic changes taking place, the sea level is rising, the uh, ice in the polar re regions are melting, and because the level of the sea is rising, uh, the mass of water over the Pacific Ocean um, there's a greater weight there, okay? And so the earth is no longer balanced. And because of that, we need to have movements of the plates, uh, plates uh, around the, the globe so that we can have uh, stability once again in the rotation of the earth. And therefore, we have more earthquakes than ever before. We have uh, more problems. Maybe new land will come up, some land will go down, and so on. There's a report published uh, in today's paper, yes, which talks about the University of Columbia and Harvard getting together and doing models and predicting that the polar are all melting, as you mentioned right. just now. Mm -hmm. And there'll be a two point, there'll be a six meter rise of sea level right. before the end of the century, and also a 2.5 degrees Celsius global warming which is disastrous to even think about it. As a scientist and as a spiritual person, what's your reaction to that report? Well, I, I, I read the report in the newspapers as well, and it says 4 degrees Celsius <laughs> increase. Oh, it says uh, 2.5 in the Singapore papers. Oh, yeah, I yeah. see. Okay. Anyway, just, just one degree is already a big disaster. Um, another one degree increase uh, in temperature would mean... Uh, at least um, uh, one meter rise in, in, in the sea level. And uh, the Earth will, will not be uh, rotating in a normal way anymore. It'll start faster. It'll be faster. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be wobbling because it's like a, a top that is spinning. Okay, uh, Once you add a little bit of weight on one side of the top, it'll start to wobble. And uh, so it will uh, help to speed up the change in the axis or possibly um, a lot of movement of the plate so that we can achieve um, stability once again. And therefore there will be a lot of um, earthquakes and so on. Now if we can all send out a lot of love, if we serve our fellow human beings, this love energy is far greater than any other energy. And with a lot of love, plants will grow, forests will come back very quickly, uh, and therefore the temperature 
will go down again. Okay. You talked about plants. I think there was an experiment you did yes. with students who yes. planted one side of a paddy field and normal planters did their job. Yes. And the students did it with a lot of love, chanting Gayatri and so on and so forth. Yes. And can you tell us the result of that experiment? Well, we, we showed very clearly that the plants that received love would grow better, faster, uh, giving more um, uh, rice than ever before. Uh, Actually, I did a, a very um, controlled experiment at Chulalongkorn University a few years back uh, where we grew uh, like marigold plants. Okay, One plot, we send love to it. Another plot, we did not. But we give equal amount of water. We control very carefully the environment. Uh, so the temperature is the same. Everything is the same. in uh, The same amount of sunlight and so on. And uh, the the plot that received love grew and grew, start to flower. Okay. How was the love given? Uh, the love was was given by the students themselves. They come, okay, and then they start to pray. Uh, they said, "May the plants uh, be well and happy, and so on." And they actually, what they do is to radiate l uh, light, love in the form of light to the plants so that the plants are full of light okay that's how they they radiate their love a mental radiation and mental, vocal as well yes uh, mental radiation um, imagining you you use your imagination to help in the radiation of that love of energy it's really light and they uh, simply imagine that light covering the plants uh, uh, in one plot but not in the other plot and, and when, the result? When we measured the height, the the one that received love was uh, forty nine point two percent taller than, on the average, uh, than the other plot, and the plot that received love had a lot of flowers. Okay, every plant had flowers, whereas the other plot they did not have flower yet. Okay, so it's a complete, uh, completely different. Uh, you can see a lot of difference. How much of this love is transmitted through the education and human values programs that you do? I believe there are 